Hello everyone, welcome. I got a Christmas present that I am super excited to share with everyone because I think um, this will be helpful for a lot of you. So this is my spare Worlds Within Worlds book. So I'm going to use a page out of it because um, I've already got a ton of things tried out in here. Um, this is my second copy, so we're going to play with this page. Now, what I found, or got I should say, are these Deco Color Prime Premium Prime. So it says, produces a rich gold leaf finish. And then this one is, same thing, produces a rich silver finish. So here is the back side. It says, pigmented, non-toxic, light fast, permanent, acid free, lead free, and opaque. Um, tells you how to store it and all that good stuff. Shake, push, pump, and write. So, um, I have pens like these before. So we're just going to quickly um, borrow this one and we're just going to mark this gold right here. You can already kind of see. So that's our old gold and I'm just going to put that there as kind of a reference for these new pittens. Because um, I was a little shocked when I used them. I know there is gold leaf paint and things like that. But um, I haven't seen them quite like this before. So, I'll pop this one a little. These were empty, so they're not giving the greatest color. But that's why I had to get new ones. We'll go with that for now. Okay, so we're going to start with the gold. And I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like over here on white paper. And then I kind of just wanted to see if it would go over the black. And just play with them a little. Um, side note, these say non-toxic. But these smell like I opened a can of spray paint in my living room. And the whole thing blew up. So it's an oil-based opaque metallic paint marker made in Japan, is what it says on the side. Again, I would turn a fan on or in, um, a window. If it weren't negative 40 here, I would open my window, and I'm scared if I turn my fan on, you won't be able to hear me over it, so I'm going to roll with it. I won't do a whole lot, just so I, because it is way strong, but I do want to show so, I'm going to play with these little circles. It's got a nice chisel tip on it, and I've already started them. Um, they did not explode a huge puddle when it started. My gold one was a little more runny than my silver, but... So, I painted right here kind of sloppy. Again, I'm not coloring this page. I just needed something to show my fancy markers with. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about them. Um, so these are at Walmart. Look at that shine. I'll put a gold up here next to the old gold. For four, maybe five dollars, they were like four seventy-four or something like that. I did look on Amazon. They are available on Amazon as well for I think it was four twenty-four right now. Um, I didn't look for any colors other than gold and silver. So if that is something you are interested in. You have to do. A little research there um, but I will link the gold and the silver down below on Amazon I know the struggle for shiny pens is real I really wish we could go back to Halloween now because I feel like I have a couple Grim Reapers and some broken broken glass and maybe a mirror or two that I could have used this silver on and it would have looked fantastic So I'm going to do a little bit, I just kind of want to show you how cool this silver is. Um, so there is my dots in my line. And then up here in the corner, so you can kind of see the difference. They are very, very shiny. They pick up that light extremely well. Like these ones are metallic, but these are like, whoo. Um, you will have a very pretty finger if you touch it. So not quite dry yet. It is not Insta Dry. This is over black acrylic paint as well. So you might want to keep that in mind if you use a different background. Um, There is on white paper. Okay. 
Okay. Let that dry a minute before I show it to you. Kind of. So most of the gold leafing stuff I have looked at has been around six, seven, eight dollars ish for the cheap stuff ranging upwards and I feel like if this pen does very similar things again you could dab it on some plastic or a paint palette um, and use a paintbrush to do the tiny spots and it would look beautiful so I feel like they are fairly priced um, for non-toxic they are smell my old one does say water resistant along with oil based and this one does not I don't know that would make a difference on projects, but something to be aware of. Um, you can hear the roller ball in them. So you do want to shake them before use. I don't really have a rhyme or reason to this page. I'm just kind of coloring it to show the pen. <laughs> I do not have a, cra a craft, a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels or anything like that where I am located so I'm not sure what you will find it there um, but I'm pretty sure it is the leafing you are looking for in the marker that makes it so shiny because like I said my metallic markers are not that shiny So you can kind of see, you can still see the color when the light's not hitting them, but when that light hits them, they are like re way reflective. I think that looks pretty neat. I'm going to have to find a project to use these on when I'll actually finish, maybe while I'm sitting by a window. <laughs> so those are the markers. Oh, one more thing before I forget. These have a oil, they're oil based so they do leave an oil mark now hopefully that wasn't sensitive information um i did try it on cardstock and they did bleed through cardstock as well so you can see the little oil marks here and then here is the back of the page we colored so although um right there right there right there so be aware of that probably not a great pen for double pages oh sorry about the wiggling um, still very effective and fun on PDFs and things. Maybe if you put a barrier down of like wax or something, it would prevent them from running all the way through paper. So again, these are, let me show you in case you're interested in finding them. Again, I'll link them as well. But these are Deco Color Premium Prime Oil-Based Markers. Um, produces a rich leaf finish is what we are looking for. So here is the package. Just the name at the top and the back if you need it. Any information on there? All right. So questions, comments, requests, anything like that, please let me know. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video about my markers that I'm excited for, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.